This message is for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node. Check your chart. Libra can be your sun, Libra can be your moon, Libra can be your rising, Libra can be your north node. Mmm. Somebody thinking about you. Could be a fire sign, don't have to be. Somebody is really admiring your confidence. Somebody also admires your smile. Somebody could also be, yeah. You know what? I think I may have said in the live something was significant about a black cat, but I said a pregnant black cat. Black cats don't mean the same thing in all races and religions. So black cats are not always a symbolism of black luck. Uh, so I said black luck. Mm. All right now, bad luck. I am the supreme voice. I consider myself to be way more of a messenger than a tarot reader. However, you may find the channel messages I deliver to you may resonate. You may find that the tarot resonates. Either way it goes, drop me some messages in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, Libra? How y'all doing? It's been a while since I've done an upload, huh? It's been a while. All right, so Libra. I just uploaded Capricorn. I did not have them channel messages. Oh boy, but do I have channel messages for you? Um, yeah, let's see. Libra. I don't know, but for some reason, I did write down them scales is shaking and they trying to dodge karma. Truth is your protection. Something is significant about a shaky situation. Someone getting caught up in their lies. Okay? Something's also significant about, like, something someone's saying that's obvious that it's wrong. It's almost as if someone has pointed you, pointed someone in your direction, and someone's getting a different perspective on exactly what someone said. Um, and it's the, sh the, the scales are shaky. Something's not weighing out. Something's not making any sense. Nine of swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck. You've recovered. Someone could have also recovered evidence on something. Something's not making sense. Mm-mm. Um, Libra, you know, we talk a whole lot about spell work. We talk a lot about things people are doing in the dark, candles, actual projections with words. But there's something about you needing to understand that your protection goes beyond just those situations. Romantic relationships, um, family members. There's something about your protection extending beyond those things and even extending when you're in public, when you're with strangers. While shit happens in grocery stores, I don't know why I just seen a vision of Whole Foods right now. Maybe someone shops at Whole Foods, but whatever store you shop at, there's something significant about the color green being there. I don't know if there's green baskets, but there's something significant about the color green. Okay, there's a reason why someone's been overly stalking you. Someone's been overly stalking you because their obsession goes beyond just your beauty and curiosity. Someone stalks you because they're guilty of some shit that they did to you. They're guilty. Someone also wants to know if you feel their guilt or if you realize exactly what it is that they've done to you and how it's impacted you. I'm picking up on a Libra where there's something someone has did that see i'm really not into i don't I'm, I'm not the person about victimization because that's a part of growth and that's a part of being like um victorious over a bunch of bullshit that didn't happen like breaking generational curses however there's definitely something significant about like someone knowing that they affected your life in a certain kind of way so they stalk you and they wonder how you're getting over something, how you're doing something. 
if it's affecting you. For some of you guys, if you have any forms of addictions, what I'm channeling from that is someone knows that that's how come you have it, but they feel like as long as you're addicted to something, as long as you're continuously consuming something, you will forget about the fucked up shit that they did. Um, someone also wants you to be muddy like them. I'm picking up on an energy of someone that like maybe could be sexually attracted to you. And this person could look at you as someone too good to be true. They want you to be as muddy as them. They want you to be as dirty as them. This could also be someone who has a very criminal oriented mind state where your plate is too clean. I'm picking up on a setup. Someone wanting to set you up in a certain kind of way because something seems way too good to be true. Something significant about that character name Ezel off of Friday. But as I was uh, typing this, these uh, notes, I kept saying, la, 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 la. So I don't know, like someone doing something and then la, 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 acting like they really didn't do it. Someone saying something, knowing that they said it to fuck with you. And then la, 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 la. Uh, someone could also be very dramatic. Someone could be like, call scenes. The number 1122, there's something about your exposure, you're being seen, your success is not going unseen um, at your job, if you're on social media platform, someone deems you as very lucky, even though they're not saying anything. Someone don't even have the same kind of confidence as you. Someone don't got the same kind of boldness as you, Libra. But they're not going to say anything. They're not going to really, really just be like, damn, you really be doing your damn thing, Libra. Mm -hmm. Also, I picked up um, something about a, like a, a, a wedding. I seen long tables. I even seen a cake. It looked like spice cake, but maybe it wasn't. But it had white icing and there was like brown cake in it and it was layered. Yeah, like it looked like a banquet or some sort of get together. Let's get started, Libra. Okay, nine of wands with the three of wands, more fire. Waiting for the results of something. Someone could be waiting for test results, lab work, CAT scan. Um, someone also could be very like, by the way, cross watchers are welcome because I'm very, very, very aware. I'm highly intuitive that I'm being cross watched, okay? Some people are cross, cross watching just to watch and to learn, while other people are just cross watching to be motherfucking nosy. All right, anyway. So yeah, there's something about a wound or a battle or going through something and sitting back after it's happened and like watching for something better. Like I'm picking up on positive energy, still watching, waiting and feeling like something is worth the battle that you've been through. But someone is watching and looking for test results. We've got the King of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. Someone could also be looking and watching for test results as far as an examination with a hermit. All right. You got somebody like that's very controlling in your energy. This is the motherfucker that wants you to be muddy. Someone's sitting up watching you. Someone's camouflaging themselves. You could be dealing with someone that has a, a military background, or you could be dealing with someone that's retired from the military. Someone is definitely, I could have like Capricorns cross-watching for a Libra, or maybe Libra, you cross-watch for a Capricorn. Something significant about somebody wanting to know about your happiness too. Yeah. This person is also cheap. They greedy as fuck. This person could wear expensive things and be into like expensive objects and items, but they still, even though the Six of Pentacles ain't out here in reverse, they, they don't give what they're supposed to. This person could also be in a partnership. 
someone lurking. You could definitely be dealing with the Capricorn. You can go watch that that reading, Seven of Swords, because someone's definitely lurking. Someone wants you to be as dirty as them. I've got the Hermit. This is um, Virgo energy. I've got the King of Pentacles. That's Taurus energy. There's an Earth sign watching you, or you're watching your Earth sign. Someone's trying to be so fucking sneaky when they do it, too. Someone also, when they watch you, they don't want anybody else to know that they're watching you. This can, I don't know why I'm about to say this. This could be another Libra or another air sign. Gemini, Aquarius. But someone definitely does not want you to know that they're watching you. They're leaving evidence though. If you're highly intuitive and you have any form of psychic abilities, you've seen visions of this person or you've had dreams about this particular person. That's how you're gonna know who this person is. You could be younger than this person or older than this person. I got the Six of Pentacles in reverse. With the Ten of Pentacles, this is somebody, what did I just say to you? This is somebody that gave you less than what you deserved. This can also be the person who's watching you because they're trying to see how much you've been affected by what they've done to you. Or if their motherfucking spell work has really taken effect. Tell me about this Six of Pentacles in reverse. Mm. So any kind of bread crumbing they've done to you has come back on them. Anything that they're doing to you is coming back on them. Someone was hateful as fuck with you, Libra. I'm really getting sick of this energy. I was in a really good mood. I still am. You're still getting a victory over this person. Somebody's in competition with you. Someone's extremely jealous of you. Whoever this person is, they want to get a victory over you. Their plan is to get a victory over you and to, to create some sort of imbalance. This could be past, present, or future. This particular person is in your energy to constantly have your emotions all over the fucking place. I'm also picking up on something significant about somebody always having something to say about the way that you dress or the way that you look. Someone's critical on physical appearance. <laughs> Heavy on the Scorpio energy. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Death, Four of Swords, Empress, Wheel of Fortune in Reverse. This is, this is, you're aware of it. Someone is sending, like, someone's projecting and... I really hate to even say this, but someone wishes for someone to be unalive. Like literally, with the death card to the Four of Swords, this is to someone who is an empress. Someone wishes to take someone down. Someone's definitely rushing in to create some sort of imbalance. Like someone is, this is some really fucked up energy. World card. Really fucked up energy. With the Knight of Cups in reverse. Clarify this Knight of Cups in reverse, Libra. What about this Knight of Cups in reverse? Eight of Pentacles to the Crown of Wands in reverse. 
there's something about having a one night stand or sleeping with someone someone's like really working hard to get you in fucking bed Somebody wants to test and see how strong you are. Someone's coming off as very youthful, very playful. Um, someone could also be very suggestive in what your next moves are. Someone's coming out as like someone who's trying to help you. Somebody wants you to be muddy like them. Someone's wishing for someone to be unalive. Someone wants to take someone down. This is from some real fucked up, pathetic ass energy, Libra. We got the Wheel of Fortune. There's something that you're getting closer to. There's something about like a, a karmic cycle completing. I'm also picking up on something significant about a relationship coming into your energy. This could be a partnership. You've cut some people off. I don't know why, but I just had a vision of a sandwich without all the edges on it. Someone eats a sandwich and takes the edges off. Someone's coming to distract you. Someone's coming to distract you. Someone wants you to make you feel like whatever your wish fulfillment is, is unreal. Someone wants to, yeah, and someone's working hard to change you. Someone's trying to change you. Someone's trying to also stifle your intuition. Libra. You've got a King of Cups in reverse coming out here. Someone's a father figure, perhaps. Whoever this person is, they're very sexual in nature. Be careful, especially if you're some healed energy, because this can be two separate energies here. You could be in a karmic cycle where you're attracting the same people, but different bodies. The spirits jumping from body to body. I did a live yesterday morning and I mentioned something could repeat itself. Oh, Libra, check your south node. Go into your birth chart, check your south node. It's important that you look at that because when you read the description of it, it'll make you more aware of the mistakes that you've made in the past as well as your ancestral um mistakes, karmic cycles, so then that way you can prevent yourself from going into them again. For some of you guys, this that I'm talking about has already happened. Someone's done a death spell on someone. Page of Cups in reverse. Someone's very unapologetic about what the fuck they do too. Someone's very stern. If this ain't a death spell, I don't know what to tell you it is. Someone's definitely been in your energy doing some weird shit. We've got the Ten of Pentacles coming out here. Tell me more about the Ten of Pentacles. With the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Whoa, someone's trying to slow your fucking money down. Someone sees something that you're doing and um, they're trying to slow your money down. Someone's trying to slow your money down, down, down. We go from the Ten of Pentacles, someone having money in the bank, to someone going into the negative, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And they're doing their best to do it. I'm also picking up for some of you guys. It's a past energy. You, This is giving me a relationship of being like sleeping with the enemy. This ain't no. This could be a family member. If this is a feminine energy, she's masculine as fuck. She has a body that's built like a man. This feminine sees a practitioner or this feminine is a practitioner their own selves. Yeah, look at that shit. Someone wants you to lose it all. Someone's definitely trying to put an end to you. 
Ten of Pentacles to the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. To the Four of Wands in reverse. Somebody wants you unhappy. Shit, someone could be also trying to affect your health. Your emotional health. Your emotional state. Judgment in reverse. Somebody don't even know who the fuck you are. Someone's misjudging you. Because they're unhealed. Somebody wants you to be as muddy as they are. Hell yeah. Someone, if someone's, I tell you what, this is just a side note. For some of you guys, this person can't touch your finances, so they're trying to touch your happiness. They're trying to, to take your energy down to a different level. Someone wants you to be just like them. Somebody don't know who the fuck they fucking with. With this judgment in reverse to the uh, justice in reverse. Where you, they better step the back the fuck up off of you. They don't know who the fuck they fucking with. For some of you guys, you don't even know this person. You could have just met them in passing. Maybe you know them through a mutual friend. But someone's just that fucked up and jealous. That's a side note for two or three of you guys. Someone's about to get karma for misjudging a situation that they've done to you. What about this Five of Cups in reverse for Libra? Libra? Whoa. If somebody was doing some sort of death spell on you, they're in disparity right now. There's something significant about like something that they're trying to release. This could be a spirit, a demon that they're dealing with. And whatever they're trying to release and get off of them, it won't let go of them. This demon's attached to them. They can't get away from it. Someone's even moved different locations. And they can't block this demon. It keeps coming for them. Oh, hell no. This could also be a sex demon. Look at this shit. Someone's very tricky. Someone believes that if they linked up with this mother of cups here, this queen of cups, they could be released. This is how come somebody is seeking your energy. Somebody's trying to offer you something. Someone's trying to offer you something to pull you in. Someone's going to act as if they don't want to fight. They've made a really good decision. But if you look deeper, there's this chariot with the eight of swords in reverse. This person just can't move forward because they're broken hearted about their own blessings. Look at this. Somebody's full of the devil. But then there's this hierophant. This could be somebody that you were married to or that wants to marry you. And guess what else they're doing? They're watching you. Somebody wants you to be as muddy as they are. Somebody wants to pass this spirit to you. Someone don't get a lot of sleep. Mm -mm. Somebody don't sleep very much. It's reflecting in their image. Something is definitely reflecting in their image. Be careful about your South Node energy. There's something you really, really, really need to look into your South Node energy. Because something is on repeat. You know what, Libra? I haven't done any messages in the bottle in a long time. Shall we? I'm just going to pull out some random messages. Let's see what the fuck is in the ethers. Where's my water? I don't even know. Will you give this person another chance? This could be somebody who you were dealing with in your past. Someone's been listening to slow music. So someone, either yourself or someone else, has been listening to slow music. Someone's got sex on their mind. 
because of the uh, death card to the four of swords, someone could also believe that if they would could just sleep with you. It's something about siphoning energy through sex as well. If they could just sleep with you, somebody is desperate to engage in sexual activity with you. You could turn that she into a he. What did I just say? Somebody's been doing sex magic. Oh, wow. Somebody is super duper obsessed with oral sex. Whoever this energy is, like they're very, very, very much obsessed with oral sex. Hmm. Meditate just came out here. Good news is on the way. Okay, so there's something that maybe you need to be doing, meditating more often. Um, there's something, especially if you're intuitive, you could feel this coming into your energy. I'm also picking up on something about yoga as well. You got some sort of good news in the way, especially if you're expecting some sort of test results, examination, health. Are y'all listening to me? Y'all see me just randomly pulling messages out here now. Ain't no way I could rehearse this shit before I get on camera. I got other motherfucking things I need to take care of. This is my, this is my day off. This is my rest day. I've been resting. I've just seen scrambled eggs. Somebody's gonna see this in the morning and be eating scrambled eggs or eating their breakfast. Check yourself, no, it's important. There's a cycle that's trying to repeat itself. Meditation and prayer out here. These are angelic warnings. These are warnings to take a step back and look at something carefully. Wow. Someone's looking at somebody like they're a fucking sex toy. Someone's name could be Toy or Latoya. Someone's too vulnerable for men or women. So there's something connected to your south node about your vulnerability. Someone is examining you. Someone's looking at you. Someone wants you to be as muddy as they are. This shit is going to fail. This is going to fail. Last messages. Something about alchemizing your pain some sort of pain that you're um, dealing with. I'm also picking up shame. Something that you keep to yourself. Something that you haven't quite healed from. Is there south node energy again? There's a need for you to check your south node. I'm going to pull just about three or four love oracles and then I'm going to pull messages from the cosmic oracles and we're going to end this reading. I hope this reading has been very helpful for you. I just see a subscription. There's something you could be subscribing to. Maybe you're a new subscriber watching me. This came out for the sign of Capricorn. I can't take it anymore. What they can't take anymore, all of a sudden. This, am I not shut? I'm so sorry, you guys. You guys will never catch me do this, but... I got to do it. Maybe I didn't shuffle good enough. I feel like the same messages were coming out for the sign of Capricorn. There's something someone can't take anymore. We'll, leave, we'll, we'll stick with that. What is the truth? How could you ever forgive the mess I've made?
Somebody not telling the whole side. Somebody not telling all the truth about something. Somebody hiding something. Someone's done something really, really messy. And they're trying to overcompensate for it by trapping you. Someone don't want to talk about their past. No one understands me but you. Someone is desperate to get you in their energy because they feel like nobody will understand them or no one understands them but you. But your question is, what is the truth? And someone really feels like you'll never forgive them. This could be a past person. This could be something that somebody knows that they're involved in already, that this is a new person. Last card. Okay, two came out. People don't believe me. That's because you don't tell the fucking truth. I don't understand. Well, the reason why you don't understand is because you're not telling the fucking truth. And then it's no one understands me. People don't believe me. What is the truth? You got a fucking liar on your hands. I don't understand why nobody believes me. Sorry. I had to crack a joke or two. It got really intense. At the bottom of the deck. What did I say? Let's get some, some cosmic oracle messages for you, Libra. I think the point has been made. Wow. Libra. You have such a bright light inside. Stop dimming it. Be careful. There's somebody seeking to dim your light. Like literally somebody is seeking to dim your light. Somebody sees your loving nature. Someone is investigating your self node energy. What you will and what you won't stand for. You have power to create the life you love. Remember that. Somebody stay on your path. Stay on your path. This is two cards speaking about your light. This is your spirits coming through for real. This is your message, Libra, about your light. At the bottom, it says, give yourself more credit. Last card for Libra. Stop giving away your power right now. All right, Libra. I am the Supreme Voice. Thank you so much for tuning in to this message. Have a good day.